Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am John Lo. We are back today. It's February 6th. Right next to me, we have Dennis um, Aguilar. Officially signed. We'll be competing on our upcoming event, March 26th in the heart of San Francisco, Keysar Pavilion in the amateur circuit. Now, Dennis, let's introduce you to all the five fans out there, who you are, where you're coming from. How you guys doing? I'm Dennis Aguilar. I train at Fair Family Fight Academy over in Ukiah, California, also out of Lakeport, California. I'm excited to be back. We're here, second time back, and I'm just excited again and ready to get back out there. Now, let's rewind, talk a little bit about the last fight. What's going down? What's going through your mind? Um, honestly, <clears throat> I just feel like I had a really bad performance. It happens. I get out there, and sometimes it doesn't, it just doesn't happen. Uh, I'm not going to make any excuses. The guy I fought was a great wrestler. I kind of underestimated that. I'm not used to get took it down. I kind of look around that because I'm so used to taking just defending, people taking people down, <laughs> defending the takedown. So when I was out there, I knew I had good boxing. I kind of rushed it. I ain't going to lie. I didn't stay behind my jab. And I kind of just, I, I was, was open. You know, I need to be more versatile than that. I need to be, I need to, I need to look for that kind of thing and have a little bit more patience and this time I plan on going out there and just taking from what I learned this last fight and putting it all back out there on the table. So the last fight you're fighting a guy making an MMA debut <clears throat> that you have no video footage right, that you can right. study. Now this upcoming fight is a whole different ball game because he can watch him how you fight, you can also watch him how he fight. I hope he watches my so, last fight. <laughs> <laughs> so now on this upcoming fight, what would you do differently against uh, um, Mayo Robinson? I'm not even a lot. I'm coming out hard this time. I know I came out hard last time, but I'm be a lot more patient, and uh, I'm gonna just wait for that opening. I don't plan on uh, sticking around too much and just letting the fight develop. I'm gonna push the action. I'm gonna make sure that it tries to go my direction. You know what I'm saying? So that's my goal. I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna fight hard. So I hope he's ready to come out and fight hard too. Now, when you're watching his fight, what can you analyze? Like. What, what kind of hold does he have on these games? You know, I only really watch the fight one time, get a good look at your face, you know, just see what I'm going to be looking at. Um, I felt, I'm sure like he, he's going to feel the same way watching my fight. I felt like I could push the action. I didn't really see a lot of too much like changing versatility wise of ground to punching to punch. I think he told me he threw like six, seven punches. It's three rounds of a whole <laughs> Yeah, so, something like that. <clears throat> and that could have just been the situation. I don't want to ever look at someone like they're not going to throw punches, but that's just something that I did observe, so maybe you might want to think about that. And, uh, I think because last fight, he was fighting a guy six foot five. Yeah, exactly. And he doesn't want It's hard to reach. I yeah, can't so blame him. It's hard to reach out there. That guy was tall. He had leg kicks, so I don't blame him for that. Yeah, so he's basically like trying to duck and knock the tray, and this fight, physically, you guys almost identical. Yep. Uh, pretty much a similar height, similar of everything, so uh, it's going to be interesting. I so, think it's going to be exciting. In this upcoming camp, are you saying it's going to be like taking him down, ground and pound him, or what What do you plan to do? I just want to come in in peak shape, feeling good before I get to the fight, and I'm going to do whatever I have to do. Uh, I would love to change levels and ground and pound. Who wouldn't, especially with our body styles. That is my game. But like I said, I've been working a lot on my stand-up and my feet, and I haven't been able to use my feet yet in a fight since I've been working on them. Last time they were a little compromised, and this time I'm just really itching. You know what I'm saying? So. That's pretty awesome. Now, um, do you have a full time job or something besides work, besides want to fight? I do. I, I still work at a, the cal, uh, a program called CAPS, taking care of people that have autism and disabilities like that. So wow. I've just been doing that and sticking around close to home, helping my family do some things. So my father's doing, having some medical issues. So I've just been doing my thing, taking care of that, and uh, staying close to home. That's pretty awesome. Now, how long have you been doing martial arts overall? Let's see, we've been, we're going on about four or five years now. I did some when I was a kid. If you really want to count it, you can go up to seven years, but recently about the last four years. So your background is like a high school wrestling? Right, high school wrestling a little bit, not too much. Um, and then I trained uh, with some pro fighters that I have friends with when I was younger, when I was like 19, 20. Mm. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with them. Uh, Tony Boyles and Tommy Boyles, they both yeah, yeah, fought yeah. at Cassieville. Uh, absolutely. Um, so that's where I was when I was younger, and now we're just here, and I'm at Figaro Family with Bruno and Armando, and I love it, man. It's a good time. We're good friends, and it's, it just seems to be what's going on in life right now. What do you see yourself in the future in MMA? Do you see yourself making it a career, or do you see yourself like doing this as like a hobby? Well, check it out. I plan on taking the title 
putting around my waist because <laughs> that's everybody's goal, right? You know what yep, I'm saying? Yep, so yep. I just want to really push hard the next year or two. You know, this is it. We're, I'm 30 years old. Mm -hmm. I got to push. It's time to go. It's going to be now or never. So I'm going to fight four times this year, see where that turns out. And at the end of the year, I plan on going pro. So if I can get that welterweight title wrapped around my waist before the end of the year, that will be great. So I'm going to come out and make some noise and some fireworks and get your attention. And we'll go from there. Well, yeah. we are doing four shows this year. March 26th, May 28th, August 20th, and November 12th. Ooh, and uh, we'll hopefully have all you back. And uh, I love the Ukiah uh, fight energy. Every time when you guys in the house, the stadium, the stadium have electrified, you know? So like, yeah. that's why I'm very in tune to working with you guys because the energy is just different, you know? It is, it is. And then uh, also like, I wanna shout out all my haters out there and uh, that don't wanna come to fight on our show in San Francisco, but that's okay. We have guys from out of town, they will come to fight. So all the city gyms, they don't wanna participate. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, we have outside Ukiah coming in, so that's <laughs> awesome too. So now, if people wanna get a hold of you to buy a ticket watching you fight, how can people contact you? Well, you can get a hold of me at Fiera Family Fight Academy on the Instagram page and we can get tickets out that way. Um, I'd love to support my gym, so if you guys want to get directly a hold of them, we could do that. You can get a hold of me at D Cali Savage 707 on Instagram and get at you that way, or uh, contact anybody else from Fiora Family Fight Academy and we'll get you lined up. That's awesome. Now, for more information about this fight card, please check out DragonHouseMMA.com. The layout, the lined up, it's a 20 fights on the card, uh, 10 amateur and 10 professional. Do not miss it, the biggest card in Northern California. I've got a lot of eyeballs on this upcoming event, so do not miss it. And please subscribe our YouTube channel. Give us a little bit of love and support. And uh, follow me on Instagram, dragon underscore house underscore MMA. And um, if your opponent, um, Mayo Robinson, watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? Just come out and fight, Miles. Let's have a good time. Let's put a good show on. And uh, it's nothing but respect and love for me. But I'm going to come out and fight hard. And uh, I know last time that my fight ended in the second round, I actually kind of got a little... Uh, I feel like I kind of broke my will a little bit, you know what I mean? Right. And I just really learned from that, and I was like completely disgusted. So just plan on finishing the <laughs> fight you're going three rounds, because that's definitely happening. All right, sounds awesome. Now, two up-and-comer, um, both have one amateur fight, going to the second amateur fight, both of them. So make sure you guys stay tuned and watch this upcoming fight. They're probably going to be the third or fourth fights of the night in the amateur pro in the amateur league, so uh, don't miss it. It's going to be a lot of firework. And um, any last word you want to shout out to any sponsor, special loved one, your training partners and all that? I just want to shout out Fiera Family Fight Academy, all my training partners, my coach Bruno, and let's go, baby. We'll see you there. Well, your coach Bruno will be the main event of the night. Yes, so, that's uh, going to be exciting. I can't wait to having uh, the, the, the whole entire Ukiah coming down here <laughs> to make some noise. And then uh, I am John Lowe signing out. Good to have Dennis, Dennis Aquila. All right, we'll see you guys March 26th. Let's go, baby. Stay tuned. Thank you.